When someone says that their resolution is working out and eating healthy, we want them to have small attainable goals. Because if they don't have a small attainable goal and they say, I want to lose 30 pounds, they're not going to get there quickly and they're not going to be excited about they're going to lose interest. When people are just starting to work out, a good way to get into a good workout is first to add in just some regular activity. So taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator or the escalator. Parking at the far end of the parking lot instead of up close so you've got to walk to and from. If you've never gone to the gym, you'd start with the gym sort of one day a week. And if that felt okay, you know, small increments, 10 minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes doing stretches, 10 minutes doing resistance exercises, and then adding in a second day, and then eventually adding in a third day. So you have to build it into your routine. You need to make an appointment with yourself. So what I would recommend, as opposed to setting out a resolution, say for the new year or to start a new health goal, whether it be healthy eating or physical activity, I would actually recommend that we start with some SMART goals. And um, what I mean by SMART goals is something that is um, specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's also realistic and time sensitive. So for instance, a SMART goal will be something like adding two handfuls of fresh vegetables to dinner every night. You've made it specific and you can go back and track to see if you were successful in accomplishing that. So rather than a resolution, maybe the SMART goal would be a better approach.